Hey everybody, do you remember a few weeks ago when I first showed this plant in, in one of my videos, uh, this amaryllis that somebody gave me? All I did was put it in a place where it could get light. I gave it a little water from time to time and other people helped me to do that. And because it had roots, it's grown up this much. It's just amazing what happens as we just kind of go on with our normal lives, doing little things, what big things can grow. And it's all because this plant had roots. Without its roots, it dies. And I think that is a good analogy for all of us. All of us who desire to flourish and to blossom and to grow in our spiritual lives, our physical lives, our emotional lives, in our relational lives, um, in our families, and in our church, um, we have to start from a place of being rootedness, uh, being rooted in the good things that God has for us. That is our identity of being beloved sons and daughters of the Father. That is knowing who we are in relation to Christ and then going out and living that in the world. And if we get that backwards, um, if we try to go out and define ourselves, we'll never have the roots that we need to be able to live from who we are and who we're created to be. And as we start Catholic Schools Week this week, um, I, I'm excited to share with you at the masses that our kids are gonna be there kind of leading the ministries to show us why we value Catholic education. And our Catholic school here at St. Rose is one of our best opportunities to help root people in their identity as beloved We've got 10 years to do that if they send them here uh, from pre-K to eighth grade. We've got 10 years to help people to understand who they are and to allow them to kind of sink down deep roots in being beloved and knowing that they're loved by the Father, who Jesus is for them, and to live that life of action out in the world, to go on mission. I would invite all of you to um, just consider how you're living your life right now, just in, in wherever you're at. Are you living from this place of rootedness in Christ and that he wants you, that he chooses you, uh, that he desires you to be with him? Or are you living from some other place? What is one thing that you could do, um, one habit that you could change to make sure that your focus and attention is going on to what roots you in Christ. And that way, all the little daily things you do that, that bring light, um, that, that bring refreshment um, to your life and to those around you may flourish and grow and blossom. May Almighty God bless you.